Good morning, everyone. Today, I am leaving. I'm going out of town. I'm all by myself. I am loaded up. I have pillows and blankets and suitcases and stuff in the back of my car. I am going to meet a good friend. We are going to film some videos together. It's a surprise who I'm meeting. My damn battery's dying already. Holy crap. I just I haven't even left the house. But I'm in the car, it's 7.09 a.m., and I'm headed out. So I will see you on the way, because if I see anything interested, I'm going to stop and check it out, because it's going to take my friend longer to get there than it's going to take me. All right, guys, so let's go on an adventurous tour today. Let's go. You guys go with me. I wish I had someone to go with me. I asked one person if they wanted to go, but they were busy, so they couldn't go. Um, so I'm by myself, but that's okay. I will see you on the way. I will keep you guys with me. All right, let's do this. Okay, guys, I have seen so many abandoned places. Some of them were so far back that I was scared to go down them, but I just found one, and I'm fixing to turn around. I can see it from here. I'm fixing to turn around. I doubt I'm going to get in it, but I'm going to take you to it and show it to you. Anyways, so let's go. Let's let me turn around and we will go back over there. All right, let's go. Okay, guys, I came back around the corner and I backed in. I think that there's a driveway right here that's going to a different house. I don't know what this building is. We're just going to get out and just look around here real quick. Um, I, I really want to go back and try to figure out how to pin it. I, I need to know how to pin stuff on my map because I've seen an abandoned place that I don't know if I would feel safe going to by myself. Um, but it might be something, I'm only probably 45 minutes to an hour away from home. Might be something that we might wanna come back and do, so I kinda wanna go back and look at, and at least try to figure out that place or get an address or something. Anyways, I'm gonna get out and show you guys this place. I, like I said, I don't think I can get in this place, but we're going to go check it out. Let's go. I was recording and talking away, guys. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what we got, but this is the place. It's all, um, you know, locked up, but I don't know if I even got this part. Look right there. All the, the outside is growing inside the window. It's crazy. So this place is um, definitely abandoned. It's it's definitely old and it's made out of wood because you can see how they got the footer the concrete blocks underneath um, I don't know what I got filmed because um, all of a sudden I looked at my camera and it was off anyways I told you guys that if I found any abandoned looking places that I was gonna take you to them so this is definitely one, it's definitely. But now I want to, God, I want to drive back. It can't be very far back, I don't know, 10 minutes. I want to drive back and get that location and show you guys that place, I really do. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, I know that uh, my friend that I'm meeting is more than an hour behind me and I haven't even oh my alarm's going off I haven't even heard from this person yet this morning so they probably never even left so I'm going to I am I'm gonna take you guys back and I'm gonna try to pin the location on my phone I don't know how to do it but I'm gonna try to figure out how to do it um, because it looks like it looked like a really, really good place. It was off the road so that, you know, it's more private. It's out of town. Get in, get out, make a video. I don't think I want to do it by myself. Um, dang. Dang. Anyways, I am going to drive back. I'm going to show you guys. Um, and then maybe Alex and Angie can, and I can come and go another time. But I definitely don't want to go without a, without a guy. So, let's go back. Okay guys, after going back, it wasn't abandoned. I took a picture, there's no way it was abandoned. Um, it actually looked like it might be. Sorry guys, 
it looked like it might be one of those places that people go to that are going hunting, hunting, hunting. You know, where you go stand this thing in the woods. That's what it looked like it probably was, but you could tell it wasn't because it was firewood stacked up outside. Actually, there's a fence. I didn't see a no trespassing sign, but I didn't get close enough to it. I didn't, I couldn't figure out how to get up in that, in that area without jumping on the turnpike. And I didn't know if I got on that turnpike, how I was going to get back off the turnpike. So anyways, I don't believe it was abandoned, but I don't know. It's a mystery. I took a picture with my cell phone. Anyways, I got to keep going here because I don't get off this camera. I'm going to have an accident. All right, I'll see you when I stop somewhere else. This place is pretty big, guys. Never been here. It says it's open 24 hours. You have to see this Jesus plaque. Look at that. That is beautiful. Wow. It's so pretty. But let's take a ride through. It looks like there's a bunch of mausoleums over there. There's a, there's a worker right over here. Now he's mowing the grass. This place is pretty. Look how nice. It's a well cap. He's like edging the grass. He doesn't know that I'm coming, so. all kinds of buildings here oh my gosh is a look at that cross right there there's a oh look at that van that looks like a kidnapper van maybe it's a van that they carried like like the caskets in or something look at the praying hands oh my goodness they are so pretty and look at those palm trees with them wow That's beautiful. It's really pretty. Yeah, this place is well kept. This is a nice cemetery. It looks like they have a garden down there. Alright, so let's turn this way. That's another... That's another building, and I don't know what it is over there. It's pipe part of the main. Oh, it's got the tombs and stuff that go in the ground. It's part of the maintenance. But look how pretty. It's like a garden over there. It's beautiful. This one um, did say that it was open 24 hours a day. It is approximately, I would say, at least, at least an hour from home. But it might not be a bad place to come back to at night. Especially if I can find some more abandoned places. Look at this. Look. Wow. It's like a little garden. It's own little garden. Oh my. I love it. this wonder what those symbols mean does anybody know what those symbols mean if you do let me know okay guys the person I'm meeting contacted me and said that they overslept their alarm clock never went off so they were already over an hour behind me so now they're a couple hours behind me but that's okay because I don't mind stopping and checking out some places on the way Anyways, I want to take you guys up here and show you guys these mausoleums. We'll go check them out. This place is pretty cool, though. All right, let's go. Look at this. Wow. This one here looks like it's open. 
probably, these are probably not open after dark. Probably not, but we're going to go see if it's open now. All right, guys. Let's go check this place out. Sanctuary of Memories. These are a lot of bodies in the wall, some a bunch of cremations, um, personal spaces. I mean, this this is pretty pretty nice. All right, so this one is open. All right, so after hours. Okay, so this will not be opened. Oh, is it not open? Oh, it's not open. It sure looked like it was open. Oh, yeah, it's open. Hope I don't get locked in here. Hello? I definitely don't want to get locked in here. Let me put this thing in front of the door. Okay. Oh, wow. This place is amazing. Oh, there's definitely spirit here. Oh my gosh. Hello? Look here. Like special stuff. I guess it's cremations and let me make sure I locked my car. Okay. It's these are cremations. Look at some of those cremation boxes. Wow. And then there's special stuff. It's pretty cool. This place is, um, who I feel spirit here. Hello? Oh my gosh, the Lord's Prayer. I love it. It's beautiful. Wow. What's beyond there? is that what is that stuff guys the thing that lowers the casket that's what that is in the ground oh goodness so there's another one of those boxes or cases for cremations but look at the Lord's Prayer up on the wall guys it is beautiful. It's really beautiful. The Lord's Prayer, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed thy be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Wow. I think that is so beautiful in here. Those are cremations on that wall back there. And then the caskets are on the side walls. Oh, wow. The spirits that are here, you are more than welcome to talk into my camera. Any spirits here, just speak right into this camera in my hand. I want to see what this is. Look at that. I can feel the presence of spirits. 
definitely feel it. If there's any spirits here that need help going into the light, if you see a light, go into that light. You will meet Jesus. You will see your other loved ones that have passed on before you. Don't hang around here. Go into the light. I pray this in Jesus' name. Any spirits that are in here that need to go into the light, Lord, pull them into the light. this door. That's locked. Oh, I feel the presence of people. And there's, you know, no human people here, so it has to be spirit. Look for the light. Walk right towards the light and go into that light. Anyone who is left lingering here, you will be much happier in the light. Oh, goodness. Oh, I'm starting to feel sick. Oh my God, guys. I'm starting to feel really, really sick. I feel, oh my God. All right, please go into the light. Anyone who needs to go into the light, I have to get out of here. Oh my God. As soon as I walked out, the camera went off, guys. Oh Lord, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty, pretty sick. Oh Lord. I felt spirit in there from the moment I walked in and God, I pray that it was even recording because all of a sudden I, I come out that door and that door swung hard and um, I noticed it wasn't recording. Anyways, um, hopefully if there's any spirits lingering around in there, they go into the light. Hopefully, I pray in Jesus name that they do not come with me. Um, I started feeling pretty sick and I don't know if it was from it really didn't smell that bad in there um but as soon as i walked in i i felt spirits i felt them so this place is sanctuary of memories it was an amazing little find on the side of the road um i do believe because of all the doors being locked except for this one i do believe this whole place would be locked up at night so we would only be able to do video in the cemetery and it did say 24 hours, so I don't know um, if, if, if others would be interested in coming back here to do video with me or not. Let me get my keys off my bra. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this place. That was an amazing feeling in there. It really was. Um, I pray that any spirits that needed to go into the light, I pray they go into the light. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Look at the praying hand, guys. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Let's go out here and check it out. It's so nice. Well, these are some old graves. Check out the praying hands. They're so pretty. I love it when they have stuff like this at um, 
at um, cemeteries, praying hands in Jesus. Wow, it's nice. These are some old graves here. These are, look like some really old graves. There's a cross like right up here. See the cross? I got a truck watching me. It's like watching everything I do. Wow, this was 1930. They were, oh, I guess the wife is still um, alive. Some of these are really old. And I want to get a picture with my phone. All right, well, you guys have a great day. Look at the cross up there, guys. This beautiful cross. I want to go up and see the Jesus statue. All right, so they take care of that. That is a garden back there. You could tell it was. It's so pretty. All right, so we're going to go find the Jesus statue, and we are going to get a picture of the Jesus statue. This is prayer. So, and they are back there. I guess they're going to be burying somebody. All right, so let's go. All right, guys, there's Jesus. These trees are humongous. They are so big. Those guys, I didn't film them actually, but I think my camera was still on. They um, take care of this cemetery. And you guys look around, this is a really pretty cemetery. But there's Jesus. I pray all the spirits go into the light and get to meet Jesus. That's an awesome statue. It says, Lo, I, lo, I am with you always. Yes, he is. I'm going to get a picture of Jesus with my camera. All right, guys, I got some good pictures. Look, Jesus has got his arms around me. He loves me. He loves us all. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I got another G another cemetery on the GPS already. It's about eight minutes away. I don't know what it looks like or anything. I believe it's called... The Evergreen Cemetery. My daddy used to own a bar named the Evergreen Tavern, which is crazy. So I'm gonna go check it out. I don't know. Maybe we'll get in. Maybe we won't. But bye, guys. So I will see you in the next video. Let's do this. Bye.